Hi all. After the epic fail of the little Hoover earlier today, I decided to do another video about this little plasma globe. If I go ahead and flick it on and turn off this light. Yeah, little decorative plasma globe. I think I pretty sure I got this on sale at a convenience store couple days after Halloween they had a surplus so this was only 10 bucks. The original AC adapter didn't work too well so I've replaced it with a much more robust AC adapter and this is going to be a bit of a little tear down or more of an under the hood than a tear down. Just sort of a take a look at what makes this thing go and maybe play with it. Gonna get on the overhead light again. There we go. Let that focus. And I've already undone the screws, so the globe part and the housing just pulls right off. So you can put that aside for now. And that is the circuit board in there. Takes a 12 volt AC input. It's got a little switch and it's got some components so let's see if I can get this both zoomed in, pointed the right direction, and focused. Okay here's a look at the circuit. Got power input jack, power switch, full wave bridge rectifier, two diodes here, two diodes under the wires, 1000 microfarad, 25 volt power supply filter cap, a little trim pot here on the board that I haven't messed with yet. I do not want to damage this setup. Little proprietary IC that will drive the PWM for the little switching transistor on a tiny heatsink, which then gives a drive current to one of the smallest flyback transformers I have ever seen. I mean, here's my hand in comparison to how small this flyback is. Now, the wires sticking out here used to be what a... there used to be a microphone mounted on the boards and this thing had a sound sensitive function. It would modulate how bright the plasma lamp effect was based on how loud the sound was. However, in an attempt of much younger me of, at trying to put a attenuator potentiometer in series with the microphone and just sort of bring down the level because it easily was overdriven by loud noises, uh, I think some sort of static blip got into the IC and killed the microphone sensing circuit because that function no longer works. It just keeps it on full power all the time as if it shorted. That was disappointing. But that's pretty much all there is to this circuit. It can be run without the plasma lamp on, and that's probably what I'm going to be doing in just a sec. This thing is not very powerful, and now that I'm looking at the arcs from it, it probably is, I don't know, could even be under a KV that it's putting out, because Yeah, that that's about as much arc as I can get out of this thing. It is not too powerful. There, the unit plus the plug pack is drawing 13 watts from the main, so... Yeah, it's about at its limits. If the little diodes there are at 42 degrees and the transistor is already at... 50 degrees, so something really interesting this unit can do is that if I touch a fluorescent tube here, one end is connected to the house's water pipes as a ground, and I'm just holding it with a glove, so I'm pretty much out of the circuit. If I hold this tube up, this is one of my very special very old pink phosphor 
F15 T8s, it lights it up quite brightly. However, in the process, it's also drawing almost 17 watts from the mains. So, I would not like it to keep that up for too long, but that is quite interesting. That's Oh, you can even see it start to light the tube a bit there. And then when I touch it, it lights it actually very brightly. And that's about all for playing around with this now. It might show up again later in another experiment, but it's not too powerful. That's all. Thanks for watching.